Hello everyone, welcome back to my second video on Resin With Me. I'm Brandy, and I apologize if I am talking fast through this one. I am trying to work quickly. It's on my lunch break, so I don't want to take up too much time, but I also want to work with the resin while it's still um, very runny, and I will explain why. First, what do we think of today's nails? I think they're a cute, warm season color scheme. So. Okay, aside from that, um, I will explain what I've got. I have a, a dish soap holder. Um, I think it can be used for some other things, maybe like uh, some rings or necklaces, jewelry. And it would sit like this once it's out, so that's why it's upside down and it's got these uh, supports. So this is where I will pour. And uh, the reason I want to work with my resin while it's still really runny is because these sides of the mold, it's a really thin opening. So if it thickens up too much, I've noticed that, um, you know, it traps some air bubbles in there. And they're very hard to, to get out. So I'm going to try working with very runny resin today and see if that makes any difference. I mixed up five ounces of resin. And for the colors, I'm going for somewhat of like a peacock theme. So I've got purple. For the purple, I used Let's Resin Pigment Paste and Alcohol Ink. Both are just called purple. For the green, I have a Pigment Paste and Alcohol Ink. The Pigment Paste is called green. And the, I'm sorry, the, yeah, the Pigment Paste is green and the Alcohol Ink is fluorescent green. I think it's still really, really green though. For the blue, I've got blue pigment paste and sapphire blue alcohol ink. I also have gold uh, mica powder by Rolio, which is the brand that I use, uh, mainly just because I have a lot of it. And then I have some clear, and in the clear I've got Glitty's Silver, as well as Glitty's Mint White uh, Glitter. Now though, I did use the glitties in the main clear resin, so it's incorporated into all of the color. So all of them do have a little bit of shimmer. All right, so I'm gonna put on some gloves so that we can get to pouring and let's see how this turns out. All right, I've got my gloves on and I, I do have some extra little small molds. I've got some bookmarks and some earrings just in case I have extra, which I'm sure I will. I measured the, the dish soap mold and um, I think it, it takes a little less than three ounces, so I probably mix, I definitely mixed up too much, but I, I didn't want to mix up just three ounces. It's a little hard to split three ounces into five separate containers. So let's get started. I think I want to go with um, gold on the edge. I'm on bent. There we go. Form my little spout. And I'm going to see if I can just open this and kind of help the resin into this crevice. All right, so that's the gold. I've still got a little bit left. I'm gonna come in and wipe the drops. Okay, I'm just gonna use a paper towel to get as much of it off as I can. Okay, I think that's good enough. And I think we'll go in with the purple next. And I think I'm going to do a puddle, see if I can puddle it. I also need to remind myself, don't over pour. I think I, I always do that and then I'm having to try to take some out. I just need to remind myself it's going to spread out. So there's green, 
and we'll go in with the blue. Okay, so let's wait just a little bit. I do want to pour some clear into the center. And maybe some gold. How's that lighting? It's so difficult trying to get enough light so that you can see, but not have it reflect and, and ruin your vision of it. Okay, I think I'm gonna go in and add the rest of the gold into the center. So there's our gold, and last but not least, let's mix this up a little bit, is our clear to hopefully push all of these colors out, and then that will, when they come back in, hopefully that creates the striations that I've been looking for in this mold. Haven't gotten it just yet, we are going to go in with the heat gun and blow some of these air bubbles out. All right, Charlie is on the patio and I just heard her knock to come back inside. All right, so think it's looking okay I don't want to add any more until I see whether it actually needs more so that's one thing that I tend to do is I keep filling until it's full not you know always keeping in mind that it's gonna spread out so I'll go in and pop a little bit more of the bubbles that have come up from this side I'm gonna do my little squat check where I Squat down, get eye level with the counter just to make sure it is even. And yeah, I don't think I need to add any more. I do see a slight, um, like this uh, cutting board is a little bit uneven. So I'm trying to make sure that it, it's not affecting how the mold spread or how the resin spreads. I think we'll do a tiny bit more clear, just a little. What do you guys think? Should I add any more? Should I leave it? I know the center is gonna be pretty transparent. So maybe some, I'm trying to see how much room I have. I don't have much. So we'll try just a tiny bit of purple. tiny bit of clear. Okay, I think that is good. We are going to pop some bubbles with the heat gun. So here's another spot where I can kind of see some bubbles getting trapped right under here. I'm wondering if I can slightly lift it and blow, if that will help get that out. All right, so I think it's done. I think I'm going to leave it now. Um, this will be an interesting one. This is definitely one that I'm going to want to do the unmolding reveal because this is what I can see and this is what you can see, but the real effect is gonna be you know underneath here so I'm gonna use the rest of this resin in these different molds just so I'm not wasting it um, but I will be back once uh, I think we're ready to unmold and and have this big reveal and see if the third time was a charm working with this mold I'll see you guys then welcome back everyone it's time to demold our dish soap or well I guess it's I think I've been saying dish soap dish but it's a soap dish so yeah just ignore what I've been saying this whole time I think I, I just realized that okay then 
but look I think this is a better view of my nails I think they're close up now I like them they're cute um okay so demolding well first I'll show you the bookmarks I made just really quickly I already demolded them took them out you can see it you can see a little bit of the different colors in this one you've got the green the blue with the clear in the center and then some purple throughout but yeah this is really the only um bookmark that came out that distinct and you can see a lot of the glitter settled to the bottom this was the bottom of the mold I still really like it it's it, it's sparkly and that's that's good enough for me all right here's another one not quite as distinct in color and this one so again not as distinct you can't see all of the different colors and I think it would have helped to have the gold but I had already run out after I did the the soap dish and I have a couple of earrings too you can see this one's a dog paw print super cute you can see kind of the gold I'm sorry the green and the blue difference in that one but I just like to make these to use up any leftover resin and then I'll just give them away okay time for the the big reveal I'm a little nervous looking at it from this angle but I do like that you get the the different colors pulling back into the center so the real design is going to be on the bottom that you can't really see because it's covered by the mold so I'm gonna pull this off the the resins pretty flush with the mold so I'm trying to get in there and there we go right, so I loosened it all around we'll start with this curvy part first so you can see all the gold that I poured first it is still a, a tiny bit of uh, like malleable it's still bendy um, if you put pressure on it so pulling it out of the mold it did bend a little bit but overall it's you know it's set it's hard um, you can see that it's transparent in the center I don't know if I wanted it this transparent I think I wanted maybe a little bit just in the middle but it's pretty much the whole bottom so should we go ahead and flip it over and see okay it's not horrible it's not amazing <laughs> But it's not horrible. I mean, I think the glitter really helps <laughs> cover up some of the not so pretty. I should have not poured that purple that I ended up adding at the last second. But it's kind of hard to see the design. But it is, um, there you go. So that's a really close-up view of it. I really like what it did here on the sides. They look almost like um like little cells. I'll have to get a picture because the the camera's not showing it the way that I would like for it to, but it did it here as well. So it's not horrible. I think this was a decent, an okay first attempt. Um, I don't know that I'm going to use it, to be perfectly honest, but like I said, I'm learning. I'm trying to see what works, what doesn't work, what different designs I can get. Um, so I'll definitely try this tray again, this little uh, dish, and who knows, maybe I'll just do stick with like transparent colors instead of 
the paste. But what do you guys think? I mean, this is my second video. This is my second piece that I'm showing you guys and I'm, I'm showing you my mistakes too, not just, you know, perfect, perfect, perfect. So uh, yeah, let me know what you think of the process and what you think of the actual dish. Maybe not necessarily this design, but do you like the dish if, it, if the design came out nicer? I think it's a good size. I think that's a good size for not just uh, soap, but you know, some other trinkets as well. All right, so that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and you'll be back for the next project. I think I'm gonna move into, the next one will probably be some more coasters. I don't know if I'll do the tray again because it takes a lot of resin. But um, I will be back, so I hope you'll join me then. I'll see you guys again on, on Resin With Me.